flag. Ruben, a graduate of go-karts, been racing for a while here, but getting his feet wet in stock cars now. On the wheel of a Prolet model, and one of the fastest, most intimidating speedways you'll ever find. It's 19.225, 19.225 for Ruben on lap one. Ruben Kakara is going to be the first car up on lap number two. And 19.267. Friday was unable to finish the race. Uh, was finished second last night, I'm being told. So picked it up there last night. So he's shown that he can. Oh, no. And we'll see what Michael Hine can do. Two, two, five. He beat that on his warm-up lap. Too bad that doesn't count. There he goes. 18, 7, 6, 7. 18, 7, 6, 7 on the first lap from Michael Hine. Down back stretch this time. Off turn number four. We'll see the team. Surprise there after a first and a third place finish. Michael Hine to the top of the board early. Oh, 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 no, sideways. He is going to lose it. This is Jerry Artuso. Let you know uh, how not to qualify, I guess. Kept it off the grass, did the toe tap, kept it in bounds. That's the second car that we've seen come off turn four and do that today and not hit anything. Focusing on the pro lane model here this year. A 12th place finish on night number one and a 24th on night number two last night had problems, did not finish the race. So next time by, that was that was the world's longest dead lap. Almost felt like a blast from the past. I remember back when NASCAR had qualifying, which I guess is making a comeback this year. I guess. Uh, and I remember when you used to be able to do that. Yeah, and then they told somebody flag here for Jerry Artuso in the Fusion Graphics Lee Falk Racing Machine, the 2005 Florida Modified and Limited Late Model Champion here at the World Series, 2003 Fast Car Challenge Series Champion as well. So great accolades for Jerry Artuso. As he comes here, he clocks in at 19.044, 19.044, second fastest for Artuso. It's going to be at an 18.595, so pick up half a second here to go to the top of the board. Let's see if he can do it. Here comes the flag. A slight pickup, 19.009, will keep him in the second position. Now it's going to be the number 24 out of Bowling, Michigan for Dylan Stovall. First World Series appearance for Stovall. Springport Mid-Michigan Speedway is his home track. Hutcherson racing on the number 24 for Stovall. So he finished 14th Friday night and Saturday night, keeping it consistent. He's hoping to 19.404 on his first lap. So looking to pick that up. We'll go down the back straight away here. Checker flag on the fly. 19.072, that puts him third. So our next qualifier going to be the 29 machine. Insulation BH Home sponsored ride for Lebanon, Tennessee's Hunter Wright, who's been off to a great start so far. Third on opening night, had a dogfight yesterday, but came home in sixth, so he's one of the top drivers up at the point standings right now. Hunter Wright with 16 starts out here. He's definitely one of the guys we're going to have to watch all week long in this very competitive field. It's a very deep field of Pro Late models this year. There are a lot of them and a lot of good ones.
distance too. So you have breadth and depth for the pro lay models. This Hunter Wright is going to come down. An 18.488. He goes the second fastest. No, he goes to the top of the board. Top of the board. My apologies. I should look at the, the right thing. Hunter Wright to the top of the board already. And let's see if he can pick up here on lap number two. 18.335. What a lap there for Hunter Wright. Hunter Wright, now your fastest qualifier. That well, brings us our next qualifier in car number 56. That's going to be Gus in South Carolina. Dean Custom Air on that car. DLP Motorsports. Two-time winner in the Arca Series. Also, remember, he ran the Truck Series a couple of seasons, I believe. So, that is Gustine. Finished fourth last night in the Pro League Models. Looking to pick that up just a little bit here. That's going to put him third. Check five on Eighteen five nine eight. That's going to put him third behind Connor Wright and Michael Hine. And now here comes Connor ninety three for Austin Thon. Again, doing pro and super late model duties here this weekend. Car looks a little twitchy going into turn number one. It's the Sherwin Williams Team Irish Real Estate Sponsored Car. An 11th place finish on opening night. 13th here last night. Showed good speed in qualifying last night. So it takes the green flag. Austin Fromm, again, our next qualifier. This driver won on the Northwest Super Late Model Series at South Sound Speedway last season. So a driver very capable of new to us here at the World Series. A 19.190 for Austin Thong. Quite the trek to get here this weekend. I wanted to get the most out of it running both the Super and the Pro. Sixth quick right now as he looks to improve here on a lap two. 18.831 for Austin Thom, a nice effort there. That'll put the 93 car up to the fourth position. Fourth quick for Austin Thom. 66, that is going to be Burlington, Wisconsin's James Story. Story fascia and easy top tree service on that ride. Wisconsin. This is his first World Series here at New Smyrna. Finished 15th in both races there. Driver keeping it consistent, but of course, always looking to improve on that. We'll see what he can do. Is he'll come around. He'll complete his. 19657. So we're gonna have to pick up the pace there. Straight away for the final time for James Story. Checkered flag on the final seat. 19379, so picks it up but stays in the eighth position. Our next qualifier will be one of the drivers out of the Race Car Solutions camps. This is the 15th for Terrebonne, Quebec, Canada's Jean-Philippe Bergeron in the Prolon Aviation Network car. Fifth place in Pro Lama points back in 2021 during the World Series. And picked up his third top five finish with a fifth place run here last night. 13th on night number one for Jean-Philippe and fifth here last night. So the team is improving as the week goes on. Second World Series, trying to make something happen. Again, a very competitive field of 
of these cars here throughout the week. We expect a few more that uh, are on our pre-registration list that we haven't seen out on the track yet, but a lot of them come for the second half of the week. On the 19.769, John Fleet going to be in the ninth position, so not where he wanted to be, that's for sure. All right, on the track now in car number 24. It's going to be Eden Prairie, Minnesota's William Sawalich. First World Series here for William. Young driver, only just 15 years old. Swalich finished fifth on Friday night, saw the top five, and then finished ninth last night. So driver has been up towards the front of the field. Looks for him, he'll go to third in 18-6-8-9. 18-6-8-9 for Swalich. So a solid first lap for him. We'll see if he can pick it up even more. Second team. Swalich. He'll go to second. 18, 5, 8, 6. Good fast lap there for the driver in the 24. And next up, the Utilities number 44 machine for Fredericksburg, Virginia. It's Connor Jones. Connor, runner up in the 2021 World Series in this Pro Am model. He ran the Red Eye 50-50 in both Super and Pro Late model competition with us. He has that got his start in the Legends cars. Now takes the green flag. Connor Jones has had a solid World Series, fourth on opening night, eighth last night. Again, the competition here this year is stout. There's about, well, 10, 11, 12 guys that realistically can win it. Let's get crazy. It looks like an 18.459 there for the 44 machine. On lap number one. And that's second quick. So Connor Jones now on his second lap. Second fastest. Let's see if he can go to the top of the board. This white flag. He clocks it at 18.557 and will remain second on the board as he slows down just a tick there on lap number two. Next up, it's going to be the number Kentucky for Dakota Stroop. Dakota, the 2012 Pro Late Model World Series champion. Vandor Racing Development for the 47 of Stroop. Finished eighth on Friday night, tenth last night. And we will see the white flag here, first time lap for And it's going to be seventh, 18, 9, 6, 7 for Dakota Stroop. It's a good run off turn two down the back straightaway this time, looking to improve on that lap. in the year 18-6-2-2 that puts him sixth so getting down to it here just a handful of drivers left will be car number 28 for New Brunsville's Texas Parker Chase Parker Chase our next qualifier in the next level Eagle Marine Donnie Wilson racing machine actually participated in the 24 hours of Daytona back in 2019 the Rolex race over there for transit Set a solid start to the World Series. Ninth on opening night and 12th year last night. Getting his feet wet in this race car. So we expect him to continue to improve. Kind of like his teammate, Sawalich, there in the 24, who's third on the board. So his team. Let's see what he can do at 18.827 for Parker Chase. So Parker Chase clocking in there seventh on lap number one. We'll see if he picks up here on lap number two. Pretty solid run going for him right now. Parker Chase. And picks up 18.688. A nice improvement there for Parker Chase. But it will keep him in that seventh spot. 
So on the track now in car number 48. Sam out of North Collins, New York. Friday night didn't even make it to turn one. Got in a wreck on the front stretch at the green flag. Glad to see you got that car back together and back out here. Well, at least got to get the laps in and goes wide right there. Yeah, they might be struggling a bit with the handling of the race car, but yeah, got to give this team uh, a lot of credit for keeping that car going. The five-star hard luck award on lane number one. And what we get for a lap there? Ninth or 18, nine, six, nine. That's going to put Sam in the ninth position. So we'll see if you can pick that up here. Running that high line through three and four. We don't see that very often. 19.975, a little slower there on the second lap, so he will stay ninth. That's still not a bad effort for that team. They've been through a lot already here this week. And uh, next out on the racetrack, a driver also involved. Driver of the DLP Motorsports number 80. This is Tony Brodinger out of California. Tony getting ready to gear up for a full-time ARCA series run, ARCA National Series run, joining Daniel Dye in the ARCA ranks this year. So, into the top 20 here last night after the opening night to crash that took her out of contention. Tony Brunninger in her first World Series looking to continue to improve and most importantly get that seat time. It's a good way to do it, especially if you're going to be racing at a time. First lap complete, a 19.490. for the 80, and that's going to put Tony Brodinger in the 15th position. Let's see if she can pick up here on lap number two. 19.451, still going to be 15th for Tony. 15th quick for Tony Brodinger in car number 80. So on the track now is going to be car number nine for Matthew Kingsbury. Matthew out of Mirabel, Quebec. Boo King on that car, as is MBL and RCS. Finished 22nd on Friday night. Able to improve that Saturday. He finished 11th. So climbing up the ladder here in his pro late model. And it's going to be eighth solid first lap there, 18.791. Looking to improve on that. Off of turn number four, checker flag. Then we hit the third solid lap, 18.573. Next driver out on the speedway to qualify will be Bayshore, New York's Roger Miner. It's on the loud pedal off turn four. This is the Chevron Solutions MC Butts Racing Engines car. This driver, the most winningest driver at the Riverhead Speedway with 117 figure eight wins over there. And obviously a little bit different than, yes, that's correct, figure eight. Figure eights here this weekend, and Roger Mayner has been very consistent. Another one of those drivers who's finished in the same spot both nights. 18th on both nights for Roger Mayner. He's got one of those built motors, so he actually has a restrictor on this car to keep him. A 19.513, 19.513 for Roger Mayner. That'll be 17th on the board. So a handful of cars left to qualify. And uh, after practicing some of the qualifying. 19.226, nice pickup there for Roger Maynard. Let's see if that bumped him up the grid. It did, it knocked him up to 14. 14 for Roger Maynard, who's oh, still going. Uh, Roger Maynard apparently did not. 
not uh, that's not going to help the 45 car, who's probably confused now as well. Yeah, that 45 is going to be Mike Mayberry out of Naples, Maine. Rhodes Concrete Oxford Plains Speedway on that car. And he's at that Oxford Plains Speedway regularly. And he'll get the green flag here. Finished 19th on Friday night and did not have the result he wanted Saturday. First lap, a 21.65. So definitely going to have to go faster here. And I'm not sure if there's something wrong with the car. And 26 last night. So. Car and he'll clock in a 27.03, even slower on the second lap. That's got him 18th out of 18. Guadalajara, Mexico. This is Emiliano Rodriguez in the 149 machine tonight for Max Caius Motorsports Development. Emiliano started last night's event, got shuffled back, and actually finished in the 23rd position. So trying to get his second World Series start. This driver new to stock cars, according to our notes here. Started in go-karts, I believe, in the Mexico area. And Max Kai is develop, racing development of a couple different drivers behind the wheel. Really is complete 19.223. 19.223. First lap there in the books. Going to put that 149 in 13th as he looks to pick up here on lap number two. And Emiliano Rodriguez. And picks up 19.013. A nice second lap there. 12th quick for 149 of Emiliano Rodriguez. On the track now. Jet Motorsports, Toyota Camry out of Groveland, Florida. It's going to be Jet Nolan. Finished second on Friday night. Led most of that race before Michael Hine made the pass for the win. And last night... He... So, got a pro late model win back in 2019 driving for Jet Motorsports. Or was it 2020? 2019-2020, he has a couple wins, so, yeah. Probably both years. First lap in is an 18.863. This currently has him in the 10th position. As we'll have one more qualifier after Nolan. Six actually slows down on his second lap, so he will stay in the tenth position. Well, Austin, you're correct. One final qualifier, and it's pretty ironic. Jet Nolan drove this 81 car, at least for this team last year. I, I hear he will be back with the Anthony Campy folks for much. But tonight behind the wheel of this 81 for ACR will be Seacock, Massachusetts, Giovanni Ruggiero, who picked up the big win last night. He got his first career win, his second start, a seventh and a first for this car so far. This is the first Ford Transportation Special during uh, Speed Fest as well. So Giovanni Ruggiero off to a great start for Anthony Campy Racing, looking to keep that momentum going. Definitely got his feet wet on night number one. Full confidence bloom last night, scoring the victory. And uh, like I've been telling you, is a star-studded field. First lap is an 18.579. That's good enough for fourth fastest. So we're not done yet, folks. Keep your eye on this 81 car as he storms down the back straightaway. Giovanni now coming through three and four. Ruggiero comes down the first. Let's see, it'll be third, 18.490. Third fastest for last night's winner, Giovanni Ruggiero. And that means Hunter Wright. Hunter Wright, your fastest qualifier, clocking in at 18.335. Hunter Wright to the pit office to draw for the invert, please. 
Connor Jones comes home second with a great effort. Giovanna Ruggiero is third. Matthew Kingsbury comes home fourth. William Solowich is fifth. Michael Hind sixth. Gustine seventh. Dakota Stroop in eighth. Parker Chase ninth. And Austin Thom in tenth.